what is going on guys and welcome to the video actually welcome to full day of eating on contest prep number three let's get it started all right so let's catch you guys up to speed ended up waking up super late today woke up at 11 24 this morning uh, i was actually watching a movie structures back up by me anyways uh i was watching a movie with my roommate last night we watched land of the lost tbt uh so i was up to like 2 a.m uh but woke up at 11 24 and then went ahead and weighed in and actually hit a brand new low weigh-in of 187.6 so super excited about that uh next i went ahead and right now i'm drinking between one to 1 1.5 gallons of water per day so i had and filled up half a gallon of water and went ahead and put in some bcaa's in there just because i usually sip on that in the morning before i work out and then finish it while i work out that way i can have the rest of my water afterwards uh so i've been aiming recently towards 1.5 gallons of water uh just because i have been sweating a decent amount when i've been going to the gym uh next i wanted to go ahead and have a quick snack this morning so i had this is odd i had eight grams of peanut butter half a serving of powdered peanut butter a little bit of chocolate sauce and i spread between a chocolate rice cake and a plain rice cake i went and had my multivitamin and then i had to hurry up because i wanted to go ahead and knock out an exam i had to take luckily it was an open timing exam so i just had to go to a testing center on campus to take my biology exam so i took that and now we're back and it is 1 p.m. So made decent time of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the rest of the day started now. Let's make some food. All right, guys. So food has been made. Now before we start, let's go ahead and go over the macros for today. We've got 375 carb, 65 fat, and 215 protein for a total of 2,945 calories. So with that being said, let's uh, let's show you this meal real quick. All right. So we got the classic pre-workout pancakes. We got three rice cakes, two plain, one chocolate with 20 grams of peanut butter and a little bit of chocolate sauce whipped it up. And we've got my puff wheat cereal with some chocolate sauce, a little stevie on top. And then some of this here cashew milk so that this doesn't get soggy while I talk to the camera. And also you might be wondering, Nick, how do you make such golden fluffy pancakes? Well, first you should go to my previous video and watch how I make these pancakes, the super low carb. And also guys, it's all about the pan and it's all about having swift but gentle hands because you gotta you gotta scoop it under and you just gotta flip it real quick. You just it takes a very large amount of talent that nothing but experience can teach you. <laughs> so try it out. Time to work out. Let's do it. All right, what is going on guys? So I just made it to the gym now. Sadly, I'm not gonna be drinking a bang today. I ran out, but I am sipping on this white monster and then to get a little more caffeine because I'm feeling extra today, uh, I'm gonna take some of the C4, even though I said last week that I don't really like C4 too, too much. Also, I wanted to mention this. I don't think I've told you guys about my training routine, uh, but basically what I've been doing right now, uh, this will probably change here soon, but I've been doing six days on, one day off. So it starts Monday and then goes to Saturday and then Sunday is my rest day. Uh, but what I've been doing on the first day is I do heavy deadlift and so basically i want to do heavy deadlift and squat but sometimes i don't feel like squatting after deadlift so i do a heavy leg press just uh i keep a little more attention off my back since i did have a previous injury with my back uh so and then after that so i do those two and then i go into uh delton tricep to get some arm volume in uh the following day which is today tuesday i do chest and bicep uh third day i do uh back traps through the fourth day is a full leg day um, the fifth day is hypertrophy arms. So I just do uh, everything like shoulder, uh, tricep, uh, bicep, and then Saturday is chest and back. And then Sunday, like I said, is my off day, but I typically use that and I go ahead and just uh, work on some mobility. Uh, maybe sit in the hot tub, go in the sauna, and um, do my cardio session. Uh, so as far as abs, I've been trying to do abs about three times a week. I typically try to get like one to two days rest in between. Uh, but in my hit sessions that I'm doing now, um, they actually, I've been throwing abs in there too. So I'm been getting some extra volume in there. Uh, but that is basically my schedule. Like I said, it'll probably will be changing up here soon. So when I do change it, I will let you guys know and kind of tell you why I'm doing that. But for right now, I like it because I'm hitting everything for the most part twice a week. And it's staying intense. And this is just the type of training I like. I like having kind of 
of those like that heavier day with squat and deadlift and then kind of like working hitting hypertrophy getting a lot of volume in so i enjoy doing that now uh when you guys are on like if you are prep uh if you are in prep or ever want to do prep you shouldn't drastically change like don't don't change your training style uh to like I'm trying to think of how to explain it. A lot of people think that when you're on contest prep, you have to train a certain way, but that's not the case. At least, like, for me, I try and train as though I'm still trying to put on muscle because when you're in a core deficit, uh, it... It's very possible and it's definitely very 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 likely that you are gonna lose a little bit of muscle mass I wouldn't say it's very likely it's gonna happen you're gonna lose a little bit of muscle mass especially when you're on a contest prep and you're getting that low in body fat uh, it's gonna happen so the goal is to preserve that muscle so you still want to get uh, your volume in and train hard train heavy uh, but you also want to make sure that you're giving your body adequate time to recover and whatnot uh, so just keep that in mind. You don't have to drastically change your training, but you still should train with the same mindset of building muscle just because it's gonna help to retain and you don't want to you don't want to pull off too too much because that could in turn possibly if you're if you're trying to back down so much like oh I'm gonna go from doing 12 sets of arms to three sets of arms that's not gonna be beneficial at all so just to let you guys know but I'm gonna quit jamming freaking I'm gonna quit being chatty Kathy or whatever and I'm gonna get this workout so thanks guys All right, what's up guys? So just finished up the workout and now I am at Walmart, uh, about to pick up a few things uh, that I just need in general and then pick up the main ingredient for the next meal. Let's get it. Now when the sun come up, I'll be there to say what up in the morning. Brush my teeth, find that clip I've been looking for since last night. I feel so caught up in the bud. I float some out with my bedroom. Turn around, see myself in the mirror. I guess I'm cool. And no happy thoughts in my head. I'm feeling like I'm so hungry and it's saying it's gonna take me 27 minutes to get home. Dang it! Tights in the birds, happy to see how far I've come to the same place. It began. Alright, what's up? Let me show you what I got from the store really quick. Alright, we'll run through this super quick. So I just got like four bags of cut broccoli because they're only 99 cents a piece. And I don't think you can steam these in the bag, can you? Dang it! Get your shit together, Walmart. You can you can steam the uh, the ones from Kroger, so that's hype. Uh, I got one of these bad boys. Dang it! I meant to get the freaking orange dream sickle one. Oh well, still be good. I haven't had that flavor. I uh, got a little bit of zucchini. Picked up the dieting essentials. These things are awesome. Nine grams of carb per yeah per the entire thing. Also got these for my lunch. Uh, this thing's only 16 carbs for the entire thing. Like, look at my hand in reference to this. It's like three handfuls. It's huge. And then I got, I finally found these things. So I picked them up. They're like white chocolate, sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix. Got some sugar-free jello so I can make little desserts out of that. Got the 96.4 because this in Giant Eagle is the only place I found it. And 96.4 is awesome because it's only four grams of fat per four ounces. And then some foil. Dreams, imagination, perfectly at peace. So I move along a bit higher I'll be up a bit away Up a bit away Cause they go judge me anyway So whatever I'll be up a bit away Up a bit away Cause they me in they judge me anyway So Alright, so macros for this meal are 99 carb, 20 fat, and 81 protein Oh my gosh, I am just so, I'm so hungry and this looks so amazing and it's so much volume that I'm just so ready to smash it. Like, I gotta show you guys the first bite here though. Hold up. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try this out. Oh my gosh. I used Velveeta, I almost said jalapeno, jalapeno cheese and this is nuts. Like, 10 out of 10. The macros for it were only like two fat, three protein each. So this is not bad at all, but guys, this is so freaking good. I just took the Joseph Pita wrap and I took each one, cut it in half, and then put some pasta sauce on it, just a little bit, and then one slice of cheese, like I'm gonna put like half a slice of cheese, like per thing. So I got like real cheesy, and I got these like golden brown, and then 
and then put the bur burger on it and then I like I sauteed the onions and stuff with it and put or I'm sorry I sauteed the peppers and stuff and put it on too and guys this is nuts highly recommend trying this it's really not that difficult at all and you can use like fat free cheese and stuff and make it amazing but it was higher calorie because I put all this extra stuff in there but guys try this out alright guys so we're gonna try something out really quick we are going to taste test all of these bad boys from Eaton Lighten. So huge shout out to my favorite people for sending all these out so I can try them out for you guys. All right, now macros on all of these are pretty much, well, you probably, let's see if you can see that. Uh, kinda right there. But yeah, so macros on all these are pretty much, I think the highest one is four grams of fat, but they're all between three and five grams of fat. They're all between 48 and 50 carb and then 14 and 15 grams of protein. So I want to try all these out, but I don't have room to obviously eat like every single one. So I think I'm just going to account for maybe like a third of a serving because these are all really big. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I just weighed all of this out and we're going to try all these flavors. Let's get to it. All right, so first one we're going to try is the original. So let's do it. Macros on this are 3.5 fat, 48 carb, 15 protein, and 9 grams of fiber. Dang. Hmm. Tastes just like a Rice Krispie treat, but not as sweet. But it's like, I feel like this would be really good because it's not going to make you, it's not going to give you like a crazy sugar craving. I feel like this is the perfect amount of sweetness. Nice. All right. There we go. All right. That one. Good. Let's try the birthday cake. Now I'm hyped without this one. Macros are three fat, 50 carb, 15 protein. Oh, this birthday cake, right? Ooh. Got the sprinkles on top. Yeah. Mmm, that's really good. Wow, that one is really good, dang. All right, that one, fantastic. All right, now let's try the apple cinnamon. This one is three fat, 49 carb, 15 protein, and again, oh, eight fiber. All right, let's try it. Oh, yeah, I taste the apple cinnamon right away. This is really good too, dang. I like this a lot. None of these are overly sweet too, so. I feel like it's enough to hit a sweet craving, but it's not enough to make you crave more sugar, if that makes sense. Wow. This one is phenomenal. All right. Next one. Double chocolate. This one is four fat, 48 carb, eight fiber, 15 protein. Let's get it. All right. Ooh, all the chocolate chips in this one. Hmm. This one is really good. Really good. Dang. I like this a lot. I think that that's my favorite one. Wow. That was super good. That was super chocolatey too. And again, it's not a really sweet, but it's enough to like hit that craving. Dang. Like right now, obviously, I want to eat all these, but I feel like fulfilled after eating that. And I only have like a third of the a third of a serving total. So wow, that was good. So I'd say my ranking, let's see. My ranking would probably be double chocolate number one, birthday cake number two, apple cinnamon number three, and the original one fourth. But solid job, that was super good. So if you guys want, head right over to eatenlighten.com right now. I'll put a link in the bottom and hit that up. That is super good. And I believe they're being sold in GNC's uh, and a few other places. So if you don't want to order them online, go to GNC and get them. But um, I believe I also have a discount code in the bottom right here. I believe that should work as well. So if you guys want to try that out, get it.
the game. All right, guys, so I'm making this to take to the movies right now. But this is like a little like flat wrap thing, and then I just put some lettuce. I just put some flat out lettuce on here, just laid it down. 3.5 ounces of chicken, one of those slices of Velveeta jalapeno cheese, and then a serving of this creamy roasted garlic uh, Bolt House Farms yogurt dressing. Macros on this are really good. It's only two and a half fat, three carb, and one protein. So let me check the macros on this for you. So this meal is 25 carb, 9 fat, and 41 protein. So if you guys need something that's kind of lower carb, low fat, higher protein, this would be a great meal. And it's actually pretty high volume because this thing's going to be huge. So I'm going to wrap this up and take it to the movies. We'll see if we can get away with it. All right, guys, we got some dessert action here. So we're going to have this enlightened strawberry cheesecake. So we got 1.5 fat, 15 carb, 6 protein. By the way, I'm going to eat this now. So before I go to this movie. So let's throw some of these on here. Alright guys, let's see the reveal. Oh yes. Alright, I don't want this to melt, so I'll go over the macros with this after I eat it, but uh let's go ahead and get a taste test here. Let's try and get everything in here. Oh my gosh. Who knew dieting could be so good? Mm. For anyone that said it's hard to diet, you guys haven't, you guys just haven't done it right, guys. You have not done it right. All right, guys, so to finish out the macros, it's currently 944, so I'm going a little bit late, but to finish up the macros, I'm going to somehow take this wrap that I put in here to the movie theater, which is pretty big, so I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that, and then I'm also going to have two servings of these pop chocolate rice cakes, so I'll put those in a bag, and dang it, this is going to be hard to get in a movie theater, because this is why you need females in your life, guys. This is why you need females, because they can get food in the movie theater, but it's just dudes going so we'll wing it but anyways i'm gonna have that so let's go ahead and check the final macros hold up all right so i ran out of room in my macros so i wasn't able to show you the last thing but with everything totaled up including the ice cream here actually let me show you guys really quick you guys can see the breakfast and all that kind of stuff got all the meals right here got the beef the cream of rice all that fun stuff Oops. And then we got the enlightened. We got everything right here. So, macros for the day. We got 215 protein right on the dot, 263 carb and 66 fat. So the goal was 215 protein, 375 carb and 65 fat. So we were close enough. So, we're a little bit under on carb, but I'm not worried about it. So we're just going to call it there. But guys, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed like all this like different footage today. I tried to get like, tried to show food, but also kind of show my day and what's going on. I tried to try and hopefully you guys like that drone clip too. That was really cool. Uh, but yeah, I just tried to get a bunch of different footage. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Leave me, leave me a comment. Let you, let me know just what you guys are thinking. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Tell me how your day's going. Tell me your favorite kind of ice cream. Just tell me something. And uh, that's going to conclude this video. So, uh, Tristan, yeah. say bye. We take the clothes on most day. I ain't got to wait for no one. If I want to fly, I can fly for freedom. Hey, I'll be up a little way. Up a little way.